welcome to a Tech Repairs Repair Tutorial. Here we have a Microsoft Surface 3. These are the tools you'll need to commit to this repair. Initially, you're going to need to take the LCD off. A good idea before doing this is applying some sort of heat to the LCD. You may use a heat pad or a heat oven, specifically designed for this kind of stuff. Here, we're applying some alcohol to see if it can loosen the adhesive. In this instance, the LCD shattered so the alcohol wasn't necessary. Be careful as you take the LCD off. You don't want to overstretch the flex or damage any other internal components. Once you get your bearings, be sure to remove the cap that covers the LCD flex and be gentle with the flex. You may want to use some alcohol in order to loosen the adhesive that holds it down. Once you've removed the LCD, you're going to need to remove any excess glass remnants that have remained on the tablet. You can use two tools for this. You can use the scraper that we're using and also a scalpel which may be required for the smaller bits of glass. It also helps with bits of adhesive. When removing the adhesive, be sure to take extra care when doing anything around the camera components, as any glass or fragments that go into the camera may well damage it. It's advisable to keep a clean desk. Once you're happy that you've adequately cleaned the adhesive and the glass off, be sure to tap any excess glass that may have landed inside the tablet or the circuit board. The most important thing to remember to do is always test your new LCD before putting it down. Some tablets may require you to calibrate the LCD. So be sure to do this and then test the quality of the touchscreen and the colors. Once you're happy with the quality of the LCD, you can move on to applying adhesive to the tablet. Be careful to not apply any adhesive over the speakers on the top half of the Microsoft Service device. Try cover as much of the surface area as you possibly can without covering any of the cameras or vital components that should be left exposed such as infrared sensors and light sensors. Once complete, make sure the adhesive is completely down and then start to remove the double-sided tape. Be careful while putting the LCD back. Try to fit 
the corners in first and then slowly put the LCD down. And don't forget to put the cap back over the connection flex. Once again, turn it on before you put the LCD down.